Here's a look at the Irish American Football League Championship game. The 17th Shamrock Bowl was contested by the Carrick Fergus Knights and the Dublin Revels. Phil Marshall is the man with the mic. Shamrock Bowl 17 was a rematch of the 2001 final in which the Dublin Rebels came out on top of the Carrick Fergus Knights 28-7. This year's tone was set by the Rebels' power running offence from the first play when running back Brian Dennehy broke an inside run for 16 yards. A couple of completions to Marcus Naylor and Simon Mackey, along with some bruising rushing, brought the Rebels to fourth and goal on the Knights' four-yard line. Quarterback Andy Dennehy put the first points on the board, diving over the line on a bootleg run. The Rebels made it 8-0 when Dennehy connected with tight end Simon Mackey in the back corner of the end zone after a play-action fake drew the defence out of position. The Knights responded immediately, turning their first play into points when quarterback Stephen McDowell hit wide receiver Paul McKillop for a spectacular 81-yard catch-and-run touchdown to make the score 8-6. The two-point conversion failed. The Rebels' running game continued to overpower the Knights, but their passing game didn't take off and a failed fourth down attempt turned the ball over to Carrick Fergus. Strong rushing by Alistair Best, followed by a 15-yard reception by McKillop, put Carrick Fergus into scoring range. The Dublin defensive line rallied and an Alan Kelly sack on fourth down gave the Rebels the ball back. Brian Dennehy carried the ball almost exclusively on the ensuing possession, taking the Rebels from their own 30 to inside the red zone. Andy Dennehy hit tight end Simon Mackey in the end zone from 13 yards out after a play-action fake. Brian Dennehy carried the two-point conversion over the line to bring the score to 16-6. Rebels fullback Andy Flynn racked up impressive yardage on Dublin's next drive. However, both defences began to dominate as half-time approached and the teams exchanged punts a couple of times before the whistle was blown. Fergal O'Donchu picked off a deep pass from McDowell with less than a minute to play, and the Rebels hit the locker room 16-6 up. Turnovers persisted to plague the Knights, as Steve Porteous recovered a fumbled handoff to end the Knights' first drive of the second half. Dublin pressed forward to the Knights' red zone. Connor Ryan held onto a deflected pass that was to bring up fourth down on the Carrick-Fergus one-yard line. But the Knights held strong, stuffing the quarterback sneak to regain the ball on their own one-yard line. Rebels linebacker Sean Shanahan put two defensive points on the board when he scuffed Carrick Fergus fullback Pete Watt for a safety on the next play. A special teams blunder by the Rebels gave the Knights possession in Rebels territory. This time the offence clicked with McDowell connecting with William Shaw on two successive plays for over 15 yards each time. Carrick Fergus made it a one-score game on the opening play of the fourth quarter when McDowell found Robert Elliott in the back of the end zone. The extra point kick sailed wide, leaving the score 18-12. On their next series, the Rebels' ground game took control as the Dublin O-line opened holes for Brian Dennehy to run for four first downs on four successive plays. This set up the play action nicely. After a nice fake, an ugly pass found tight end Fergal O'Donchu in acres of space before he was taken down inside the five-yard line. Brian Dennehy carried it over the line for a touchdown to make the score 24-12. Two-point conversion failed. Fergal O'Donchu got his second pick of the day on the Knights' next possession, returning the ball to the one-yard line. Again, the Knights' defence denied the Rebels on a goal-line stand. As time ticks away and Carrick Fergus turns the deep pass, the Rebels' defence clamped shut. Dublin then ran out the clock, and Brian Dennehy collected the MVP award. The Rebels collected their second Shamrock Bowl title since joining the IAFL in 1999. This title, along with their victory in the Charleroi Trophy in Belgium last June, makes the Dublin Rebels the first Irish team ever to win an international competition and an indigenous competition in the same year. Congratulations to the Dublin Rebels 